Windows 11 23H2. Yeah, many users are waiting strikely for this version, but not everyone knows that it is already available for download. Honestly, it's not finished. Yet. In my previous video, I installed Windows 11 23H2 on an unsupported laptop. And in that video, I showed how to download an ISO file. But the thing is, to download such an ISO file, you need to join Windows Insider program. But not everyone liked this method because you need to create a Microsoft account. And that is why today I will show you how you can download the latest version of Windows 11 using UUP dump. But what is UUP dump? It is Unify Update Platform. This project allows users to create an ISO files for Windows 11. UUP dump download all components directly from Microsoft servers and then turn them into an ISO file which is really convenient. This project is not affiliated with Microsoft Corporation and I didn't find any strong proof that it is illegal. The site has been operating for a long time, so you can freely download the latest version of Windows, if you wish, of course. So let's get it started. So guys, let's get into it. We are in Windows 10, but if you want to repeat it, it will work on Windows 11 as well. First of all, we need to open our browser. In my case, it will be Google Chrome browser. I will click on it. Now you need to type next, UUP dump and press enter. On this page, you need to find uupdump.net, click on it. And voila, here we are. From this website, we can download the latest Windows version. In few words, here you may see release type and we have latest public release build, also latest release preview build, latest beta channel build, latest developer channel build and latest canary channel build. Simply to understand, if you want to get the latest feature, the latest version, you need to download the canary channel. But before that, you need to read this information. Somewhat unstable builds with latest platform changes and early features. Ideal for highly technical users. So, of course, if you want to download the latest Windows version, if you want to get the latest feature, if you want to have new experience of using Windows 11, you need to download Canary Channel builds because if you want to download the latest updates builds for regular users you can click on x64 and no doubt you will not find windows 23h2 version here we have only 22h2 version i mean if you want to get the latest stable windows version you can just go to the microsoft official website from this page we can navigate to home scroll down a little bit in our case i will select x64 on this page, we have Windows 11 Insider Preview and the latest version, so we need to click on it. After that, we can select the language, so I will select English, United States. It will suit me the best. You need to click Next. Now we can select Windows Edition, Windows Home, Windows Pro. I will uncheck Windows Home because I will install Windows Pro. I want to mention one very important thing. Don't install this operating system as your main operating system. I mean, if you want to take a close look at Windows 11, if you want to look at new feature, if you want to try something for yourself, yes, you can do this. But if you want to have something stable, please install Windows 10 or Windows 11 or just wait until 23H2 version will be officially released. I think soon we will see new Windows 11 officially. In my case, I will check only Windows Pro, then click Next. On this page, we need to select Download and Convert to ISO. Easily download the selected UUP set using Area 2 and convert it to ISO. Be sure to select this option. Then scroll down a little bit and you need to check this option include updates. So of course I will try to get the latest Windows update. And again scroll down one more time and select create download package. Click here. Now you just need to wait until this small archive will be downloaded on your laptop or PC and after that we can open folder. 
show in folder. And of course we can close the browser. So what do we have here? We have the version of the build. It takes only 6.97 kilobytes. Definitely it's not the ISO file, but wait, first of all, we need to unzip the archive. So click on the right mouse button and extract this file. If you have WinRAR, you can use it to unzip the archive. In my case, I will use this feature, extract all, click here. Now we can delete this archive. I will select delete. And of course, we still need to download Windows 11 because the size of the file is only 14 kilobytes. Now we need to double click on this folder. And very importantly, we need to run this file UUP download Windows as administrator. So click on the right mouse button, select run as administrator. In my case, I need to select more info and click on run anyway. Please pay attention and take your time. As you can see, CMD Windows appear and we need to type next. We need to type R and press enter. My friend, now you just need to wait until it will download the latest components and of course Windows 11 23H2 ISO file. This process may take some time. It will depend on your internet connection. I recommend to be patient and take your time. After all this process, you will see 100% complete and press zero to exit. So I will press zero. Now you need to navigate to place where you unzip the archive first time. In my case, I need to go to local disk D, select download, click on this folder and voila, as you can see, we have a lot of different files. But the most interesting file here is our ISO file. As you can see, it takes 4.53 gigabytes of space. And what we're going to do next? I strongly recommend to create a bootable USB stick using Rufus. In my case, it will be the best solution because I don't want to upgrade from my current Windows 10 Pro to Windows 11 latest version because this is unstable version. So I will close this window and I need to open browser one more time. Here you need to type next Rufus download and press enter. On this page, select download. Here you may see Rufus download. Click on it. For people who don't know, Rufus is an open source software, very convenient and it's totally free. In our case, we will download the latest portable version 4.1x. Click on it. After this process, we can close the browser and we need to insert USB stick to create a bootable USB drive. I recommend to have a USB stick that at least has 8 GB of space. I think it will be more than enough. If you have some important files or data on your USB stick, I recommend to save them because all information will be deleted from your USB stick. After you install USB stick into the laptop, you need to launch Rufus. In my case, I need to go to the downloads, click on Rufus. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no. My friends, please take a close look. Here you may see device and we need to select our USB stick. As you can see, this is my USB stick and yes, it has 32 gigabytes of space. Now, very importantly, we need to click on select and we need to choose our ISO file, Windows 11 23H2. In my case, I need to click on local disk D. I hope you understand that you need to find the place where you unzip the archive. In my case, I need to click here. And finally, I need to select this ISO file and click open. Then in image option, you need to select standard Windows installation. Also, we can select Windows to go. I think in future I will make such a video, but today we need to select standard Windows installation. Click here. If you have a newer system, you can leave everything by default, GPT and UEFI. But if you have quite old laptop and you want to install Windows 11 on an unsupported laptop, I mean, you have machines since 2010 or 2009, you can change it to legacy. To change it to legacy, you need to click here and select MBR. In my case, it's not necessary, so I will select GPT. After all this process, you need to click on start. And I want to remind you that all information from your USB stick will be deleted. 
and that's the reason why I like Rufus so much. You can tweak a lot of options. As I previously said, if you have unsupported laptop or computer, you can skip Windows 11 system requirements. Also, you can create a local account, disable data collection, disable BitLocker. Also, you can see that we can remove requirements for an online Microsoft account. So after all this process, you need to click OK. Warning, all data will be destroyed, deleted from your USB stick. Be sure to save your file before doing this. Then click OK and wait until Windows 11 23 H2 version will be installed on your USB stick. And voila friends, my congratulations, we successfully created a bootable USB drive with Windows 11 23H2 version. So now we can close the program and safely remove USB stick from the laptop. Safely remove hardware and select your USB stick. In my case, I will select SanDisk. My friends, I again installed USB stick into the laptop because I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 23H2 version, but I will do this in virtual machine. Actually, you will not see a big difference. For people who don't know what you need to do with bootable USB stick with Windows 11, you just need to install it into a computer, turn on the laptop and press F12 key. And after this, you will be able to select your USB stick and install Windows 11. I want to remind you that during installation, all information will be deleted from your hard drive. If you have some questions, why do I use Rufus? The simple answer is because Rufus allow you to change a lot of options. For the example, we will not be forced to enter a Microsoft account. In this window, you may notice that we have only one option and that's because previously we select only one language, English United States, I mean on UUP website. Click next, install now. In this window, you can enter your Windows license if you have one, but I will select, I don't have a product key. I want to note if you have a Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 license, yep, you can enter it. So for Windows Pro, you need to have Windows Pro license, obviously. I don't have a product key. Check this option, agree with Microsoft license and terms. Click next. I'm doing a clean install, so of course I will select advanced option. Now you can allocate space for your operating system and also you can allocate space for D or E drive. As you can see, I have only 64 gigabyte of space, so I will allocate only this space. But if you have 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, then you can allocate 83,000 megabytes. And as a final result, you will get 80 gigabyte for C drive and rest of space you can allocate for E or D drive. It all depends on you. Select apply. Okay. And we need to select the main partition for Windows. In my case, I will select partition three and click next. Okay, fellas, now you just need to wait until Windows 11 23H2 version will be installed on your HDD or SSD drive, so take your time and be patient. I want to mention that laptop or computer in the installation process can restart several times and don't worry about that, that's normal. As you can see, we are on the stage where everything loads and we need to wait. Many of you may think that I skipped the moment when you need to set up your system, I mean the installation window, but no, we don't need to set up anything because in the Rufus we already skipped those moments. In short, if you did clean install Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you see this message to change your password, but you actually don't create a password, you can just click OK, then select this option. And that's all. I think it will be convenient for many users. And finally, we are in Windows 11 Pro 23H2 version, so we can click on the startup menu and surprisingly, I don't see any ads because actually I am connected to the internet and I thought that I will see Spotify and other ads. Let's go to the settings, click here. First, I will show you the relevant version of Windows 11. So I will scroll down a little bit, click on about section. 
Yep, this is my specs, Intel Core i5 processor of a generation, so this laptop supports Windows 11 officially. And here we see addition, a Windows 11 Pro Insider Preview 23H2. But one more time, you need to understand that this version is unfinished. Soon, I think this version will be available. But if you are an enthusiast and you want to use Windows 11 today, right now, you can give it a try. Let's check for the latest updates. I will click on Windows Update. Of course, I'm run Windows 11 in virtual machines. So on the laptop, you will get more available updates. And yep, we have only two available updates for Microsoft Defender and some tools. If you paid attention, you may see that I use a local account. And yep, I was not forced to create a Microsoft account. I noticed that in this build, we have such an animal and we also have this message learn about this picture so we can click on it sundan to mandua i hope i pronounce it correct so it is what it is windows 11 23h2 version surprisingly i don't see any ads and definitely it looks much better without ads without tons of advertising things here we see the weather and some news Actually, we have the same features in Windows 11. And let's not forget about new Windows 11 feature, Copilot. If you wish, I will make such a video in the future. Let's go back to our updates. And yep, we can get the latest Windows 11 23H2 updates. And definitely, this is a great news. If this video was useful for you, please like it. And I recommend watching this video on how to make Windows 11 super light with Revy OS.